I hope I didn't break anything. What's going on guys, King Trats here, back into the video on the channel. And today we went to Burger King. I don't think I've received as many, yo, you've gotta try to Burger King messages as I've ever received in the last probably 24 hours. This is the first day that it has been out. It's a digital exclusive app, exclusive app. I'm not editing that. It's a digital exclusive thing in the app. Um, I'm sure if you go there and ask for it, they'll give it to you, but they always try to market stuff like that. They drop snack wraps, or their version of snack wraps, and everybody loves these Burger King snack wraps or snack wrap vibe that everybody else is kind of does. Funny thing is, McDonald's is the one that had it really popular, and everyone else is doing it besides them. I'm not mad at that, I just think it's borderline hilarious, but they have three different kinds of wraps, so of course, we got all three. I just went to the movies and saw Blue Beetle, also got my, com almost broke the damn thing, commemorative uh, Blue Beetle popcorn tin. $35 for a hunk of plastic, but that's how we get down. And they also do have the uh, Burger King crispy chicken, honey mustard crispy chicken sandwich. So there are three kinds of wraps. They have a regular, they have a spicy or hot or spicy. I think it's called spicy. And then they have a honey mustard version. And of course, I'm not going to Burger King and not getting the onion rings. We got the onion rings and we got the onion rings. And we fell out the bag. Got the onion rings and we forgot the zesty sauce because they did that thing where they make you like pull around to the front because you know fast food is not fast anymore and um by the time he got there i forgot to ask him for the sauce and you know at the drive through so, i didn't get any zesty sauce it's kind of an l but we did make sure we get the hershey pie boom so that's what on the agenda three different wraps to review the crispy chicken sandwich and i made a specialty whopper i, I came up with this in the app on the way there from the movie theater so we're going to try that as well also at the movies they gave us the fast x cups <laughs> <laughs> they had like a hundred of these cups, bro, like stacked up. And she was like, yeah, we can't get rid of them. So they were giving them out today instead of like the normal cups. So if you do go to the movie theater, at least the ones that I go to in Jersey, um, you're probably gonna get a Fast X cup, which is a W. I already have one, but I just wanted to throw that in there because I think it's funny as hell that all these times they couldn't get rid of Toretto cup. I should tell Toretto. Anyway, let's get into these wraps. Let's start off with the, okay, they are labeled. So this looks like spicy, honey mustard. This is like the regular. Y'all wanna do the honey mustard? Let's do the honey mustard. Here, let's, let's, let's do the honey mustard. Let's take all these out, matter of fact. Hold on, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the delay, you know, but I, I don't want to just sit here and start unwrapping stuff. All right, so honey mustard will be on the left. Spicy will be in the middle. And uh, they do come with lettuce, by the way. For as many of you probably know, I don't really like lettuce, so we don't have any lettuce. Um, but there's also tomato, and they all have different sauces in there as well. Um, sorry about that, I had to change my battery. But this is the honey mustard uh, royal crispy chicken sandwich with one tomato. There that is. And then the Whopper as well. I basically made myself a rodeo burger Whopper. I didn't know this, but when you order a Whopper, you can ask for it with Swiss cheese and onion rings and bacon. So I asked for a Whopper with Swiss cheese, onion rings, and bacon. And then mayo, ketchup, tomato instead of lettuce. That is like the ultimate W if you ask me. Everybody should do that. So that is an America in a bun right there. And then, of course, we'll throw the that the pie right between your eyeballs right there but let's start off here this is the honey mustard wrap so it's pretty self-explanatory so it's going to come with honey mustard and it's going to come with uh tomato yeah that's what else is on here i personally again i'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade but i just feel like people obsess about these wraps i don't see what the focus is nine times out of ten you so yeah it's, it's just a cut up chicken sandwich but you know i i, I don't I'm just gonna try it. I'm not talking too much. I'm getting no chicken in that bite. Hold on. It's exactly what I thought it would be. It's a cut piece of a chicken sandwich in a tortilla with honey mustard on it. Is it disgusting? No. Is it good? Yeah, it's all right. But I just, I don't really get why people are so preoccupied with that. Maybe it was the price point back then with McDonald's because it was on like the value menu. But I still would rather have a chicken sandwich, just to be honest. It's a half of a, I said, I'm saying I can say it again, but I don't think there's anything to write home about. I just think it's okay. And it's not something that I would get regularly. There's not much to say about it. But that one, the honey mustard one specifically, uh, I would give a five out of 10 to. It doesn't. No, it's, it's perfectly mid. Also, for those who are asking, uh, each wrap is $2.99, which is $3 a piece. So it would come out to $9 if you got all three. They have specials called, one's called the Wrap Trio. 
which this is, so it costs seven dollars for three wraps, which isn't the worst price wise because it's about two and change for each, but again. It just doesn't wow me like that. I would still rather get a burger from Burger King if I'm gonna get anything. But let's go into wrap number two, which should be the spicy. The difference on this one is it has that spicy sauce that, you know, I believe this bad boy would come on a chicken, which I'm not mad about again, uh, but it's pretty much the same thing. Tomato with their uh, savory sauce, and then the, you can tell I'm not really excited about these. This one will probably be my favorite one because it has that same spicy sauce that came on the fiery nuggets. And that's a big reason why. But other than that, again, it's half of one of these and they're gonna add it in towards you and give it to you. I know that some people may have a counter comment to say that because you didn't get lettuce, it looks like this, but lettuce is the ultimate filler on a sandwich in my opinion anyway. If you like it, that's fine, but it doesn't really add value to something because you didn't get lettuce like it may make the sandwich seem more filling because you ate some leaves on it which is cool with me eat what you want but for me it doesn't do much i do like the sauce on this one much better than just some plain honey mustard throw honey mustard is kind of mid by the way so this one i would give a six out of ten to this one is the classic which is gonna be the closest thing that you're gonna get to like a chicken sandwich the original one comes with lettuce tomato and pickle as well as royal sauce, which is whatever they're calling their royal sauce. Um, I still don't really know what that is. I feel like they just rebranded the sauce they had on the chicken, which was called the savory sauce. They're just changing the name. But that's what it tastes like. This one and this one, I'd probably never get again. If I was gonna order any of them, it would be the spicy. Again, I just prefer spicy stuff. I feel like it adds a little more flavor. The savory sauce just tastes like a little bit of like a like a mayonnaise variation. There's not much to it. Again, I repeat, it's not that I dislike these. I just don't see the hype. I think they're okay. But for $2.99 from Luna Burger King, I'm still getting like 17 other things before I get one of these. That one, I would also give a 5 out of 10 to. These are just perfectly in the mid range to me. Now we have the honey mustard chicken sandwich. Uh, with not much honey mustard, but I know what the honey mustard tastes like anyway, but this is what it looks like It's their royal or their or their what are they calling it now the crispy royal chicken sandwich Which they got rid of the best chicken sandwich in the game, which was the chicken which I'm still slightly depressed about But it comes on a brioche bun I would still rather get this now this costs six dollars So it is double the cost, but I'd still rather get this Hands down. It's the same chicken patty. It's the same honey mustard. It's the same tomato. It's literally the same thing. If I had a preference of one of the two though, I'd rather get it in a bun than a tortilla. The wrap thing, it just, again, I'm not trying to bash anybody because they like these because I, I, I get the allure, but I, I would rather eat a sandwich from a fast food place than a snack wrap. I'm using McDonald's name or a Royal Crispy Wrap or whatever they want to call it. Even if I was going to McDonald's, I'd rather get a chicken sandwich. That's just a personal thing, but. If you enjoy Burger King's chicken sandwich, it's just getting it in another vessel. They didn't do anything different. They just kind of marketed it, which I'm cool with. Just be forewarned. Don't expect anything different. It's all ingredients that you've had before. But $2.99 a piece, not bad. The sandwich would be my favorite of the two. I would just get like the spicy sauce on there and do the spicy chicken sandwich if I was picking any of them. But. I would give that a six and a half out of ten. This was my own creation. Um, I got a double rodeo burger. So what I did was I got a Whopper, but just tomato because I don't eat lettuce or pickle. You can eat whatever you want to, but that's not my thing. And I got the mayo and the ketchup. I didn't know this, but if you go to Burger King and you use the app, you can ask for onion rings on your Whopper, which I mean, I know it really doesn't change anything, but it just made it more fun to me. So that's what we did. And I added um, as well as bacon and Swiss cheese instead of regular cheese, because they did that on the Spider-Man Whopper, I believe, but I never got to have it. They put a red bun on it, which wasn't anything. So I'm gonna just add a little more onion rings, because you know. I haven't had a Whopper in forever, and it was one of my favorite sandwiches growing up until the Rodeo Burger overtook it. And I was kind of in a mood for one, so. I 
I just I love Whoppers, you know. You know what I mean? Like, like home with a Whopper. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know a lot of people say Burger King is mid. This just changed my whole mood. I'm still gonna be here for the flame grilled taste. I'm gonna be here for it. I'm gonna be here. Stop doing this shit, Burger King. Okay? It's a home of the Whopper, not home of the mid wrap. Mm hmm. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't know why the hell I got a double, but I figured if I was gonna do something, I'd do it right. But it's fantastic. Fast food burgers, I still rock with Whoppers. I don't know if it's that flame grilled taste or, I don't know what it is, but I've always liked them. That hit the spot, bro. I'm telling you, if you haven't had a Whopper in a while, just go get a Whopper. It's not like an ad. <laughs> Just go get a Whopper, though. Need some onion rings. Don't forget the zesty sauce, but if you do, take it home. Open up your all-purpose drawer. Find yourself some Chick-fil-A sauce. All right? And then go in. That's why, yeah. Now that's a meal. That just made everything okay. They did, it made everything okay. Made everything okay. That fast food scale, for me, I would give that a nine out of 10. I love Whoppers. All right. Let's take a sip on the Fast X cup. <sighs> Tastes like box office failure. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I'm giving them away. But let's talk Blue Beetle for a minute. Did I like the movie? Yes, I did. For a DC film, my expectations walking in weren't the highest. I'll be the first person to admit that. I expected a pile of trash, and I didn't get that. What I got was a pretty good movie. Again, please understand what I'm saying, because I know a lot of people are going, because there's going to be one or two people that say, oh, it was trash. That's cool. I'm going to give you my opinion, and I'm going to tell you why. Do I think this was the greatest superhero film ever? No. Do I think I walked in expecting a pile of dog crap and got a watchable, entertaining movie? Yes. Was it flawless? No. Did I have issues with stuff in the movie? Yes. Would I watch it again? Yes. So let's go through them. I'm going to start with the pros. The supporting cast in this movie was excellent. Okay? The main character, his family, were all entertaining, brought their little quirks, and you could tell, even though they were all playing roles in a movie, that it was a close-knit family. Um... They had a lot of, obviously, because he's a Mexican-American. Yes, the Blue Beetle is a Mexican-American, so anybody trying to put some sort of agenda into that, there's not. He is in the comic books, therefore he is in the movie. Uh, he comes from a, a little tight-knit family, so there's a lot of Spanglish in the movie. There's a lot of references to things that a lot of Mexicans or Hispanic people in general, which I'm not Hispanic, but there's times where I might as well be. You might not get the references, but they're funny. You could hear people in the crowd laughing. Um, George Lopez is fucking hilarious. He was hilarious in this movie. I think that he stole the show in a lot of scenes. Uh, and Susan Sarandon is just that too. So she did a good job in the film as well as the like protagonist or the antagonist, I should say. Sorry, I'm tired. Um, and I do think that some of the CGI was way better than a lot of the DC stuff I've seen. Now, it wasn't great, but it was better. They didn't have the noticeable mistakes that The Flash did, which was like why it made the movie trash to me so it had that going for it which is markedly better it's one of the better movies they've put out in a while i thought that they did a good enough job because a lot of people don't know about blue beetle a lot of people walking into that have never heard or seen anything where they at least give you a backstory and explain it so that they can't you won't be confused by that i should say And while the story I'm going to put in the pros, there were some problems with it. The runtime wasn't long. It's about two hours, which is, thank goodness. And you do feel like you got a definitive ending. And if they wanted to, which they won't. <laughs> I'm 
they could expand on it into the DCU, which they won't because they can't. They're starting, doesn't matter. But now let's go to the cons. I thought that the main character, he overcooked it a little. Like, some of the things he did, just you could tell he was being a little bit extra. And this is coming from a person who I can be a little bit extra. So for me to say that, you can put that into, uh, into context. Um, his love interest, same thing. They just, I, the chemistry seemed forced between them, in my opinion. I just, I didn't, you know, sometimes you could feel, I didn't feel that. I didn't, I didn't feel that. I didn't feel that. They were just a little generic in how they portrayed the characters and kind of corny at times. Doesn't mean they didn't do a great job. I thought they did a good job, but sometimes I felt like they overstated and, and, and tried to, you know how like you, you see someone or someone and it's funny and then it like they do it too much and you're like, eh, stop, bro. That's how I felt within the movie. There were some mistakes. A weird mistake that I saw was translation. Like, because they speak Spanglish in a lot of the movies, in a lot of the movie, I should say, there's gonna be captions within the film. And I know that there's no like exact 100% translation when you're talking from language to language. So I'm not saying that, but what I did see was sometimes like, at one point in the movie, I'll give you a line, which I was like, and it happened multiple times. In one part in the movie, she says, one of the characters says, hola mijo. And on the bottom it says, come here. That's not what it means. But there were some lines like that, um, that I just, I don't understand how they got those, they didn't like catch that in, in post-production or whatever. Um, the CGI, while I did praise it, at times it does look a little DCEU. You can tell it's very DC. If you know, you know what I'm saying. A uh, little, little too DC for me at times. And again, I know the movie has a lot of actual like Mexican Americans portraying it, but I felt like at times, it was like trying too hard. And there's a lot of cultural movies to me that, even movies where I watch black people, where I'm like, y'all being a little extra, you're doing too much because you're trying to like make sure that people know there's black folks in this movie. And I'm like, it's like over the top versions of it. Like not everybody in, in a black family is Chris Tucker. And I felt the same way with this, where they were kind of over, but nonetheless, I still found it funny, so I don't want to harp on that too much. Um, the, the main villains and the protagonist, you never really felt like he was in danger at any point. Um, and, you know, that, that kind of makes for like a, a generic kind of movie. But again, I still found it enjoyable. Do I think it's a must-watch movie? No. Do I think you have to watch it in general? No. But for a comparison, the last few uh, DC films, this film is light years ahead of all of them. Black Adam... Flash, this is why, I won't watch those again, I'll watch this again. And the ultimate compliment I can pay to them before I leave is this. I haven't been able to say this for a DC movie in a long time. If they made a second one, I'd watch it. I haven't said that about all the DC movies, Shazam or any of them in a long time. If they made it, even though Shazam was a second one, I had not even seen the first one. <laughs> so, if they made another one, I would watch it. I would like to see where that story goes. So that. That's a good sign. Again, not a great movie by any means, but a watchable, coherent, at times funny movie, which <laughs> DC, you finally got one. Even though you started all over again, doesn't matter. But I would watch it again, man. But anyway, um, these are just mid to me. I, I don't think you have to go out of your way to get them, but if you want to, I don't think you'll dislike them. I just don't, I, I would rather eat a sandwich than a snack wrap. I guess I'm a bad person to ask or something, but yeah. That's that. I didn't even touch my Hershey pie. I'm just gonna eat this. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. I'm gonna save the calories. I did have popcorn at the movies. So that's gonna be the end of the video, man. I, I wanted to do this as soon as possible. So it's super late. It's already past midnight. And you know, a lot of people were asking already, like I said, so I got to Burger King. Like they made mine fresh. So if anyone from Burger King staff watches, thank you for making it fresh. Like they didn't know who I was or anything, but they didn't have, it was about to close. And, and like, it was right on that point. So they still took care of me, which I appreciate because they easily could have been like, man, get out of here. So I appreciate that. But I wanted to make sure I get this out like as soon as possible because again, mad request for it. I'm glad that people want to know my opinion on these things. If you, you, it, it's this cut in half, okay? So if you like it, you'll like it. $3 is still, cut it to $2, you might be happy.
That's me in the video. I said that already. I'm tired, bro. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. Hand signs. They made it to YouTube.